10 hybrid animals you won't believe actually exist. Human beings are so diverse and animals are not the exception. There have been so many incredible genetic crosses and new hybrid animals that will blow your mind have been born. Come to see them! Number 1. Liger A very particular mixture. If you imagine an offspring of a lion and a tiger, well, that is a reality and something very usual at zoos. The liger is the result of a mating between a male lion and a female tiger. The most special thing about this cross is the giant size and dim stripes that vary from orange to yellow in color. The male ligers, just like the male lions, have a mane. What's interesting about ligers is that they currently exist thanks to humans, but in the past they were found in Persia, India, China, and Beringia Land Bridge. The liger keeps growing. Its paws are kind of short, and it's the largest feline so far. It can grow to an incredible length of 10.9 feet. How do I know that? Because that is the length of the adult male liger, Hercules, that holds a Guinness World Record for the largest living cat on Earth. Even if the liger is not a natural species itself and its existence is moot, it's impressive! Number 2. Wolpin now is the turn of an aquatic one, this is the perfect mixture between a common bottlenose dolphin and a false killer whale. Imagine an offspring of Willy and Flipper. Well, Willy was a killer whale, but that might be possible. In the case of the Walpin, it's totally possible. Though only one case of this hybridism in captivity is known. What's that? It means that the case has only been reported in an aquarium. All this happened because the Walpin's parents shared the same pool at the Sea Life Park in Hawaii. Incredibly, the Walpin's size, color, and shape are exactly intermediate between the parent species. This Walpin, named Kekaimalu, has 66 teeth, which is also intermediate between a bottlenose dolphin and a false killer whale that have 88 teeth and 44 teeth, respectively. Against all odds, this hybrid can continue with the new species. This only Walpin had three young with another bottlenose dolphin. Enjoy the only Walpin in history since 1985! Number 3. Blood Parrot Cichlid Among the lines of the Walpin now comes a hybrid little fish created by the human being, which is a little bit temperamental and tends to always stay at the bottom of its tank. There's no exact date of birth for this hybrid, Although, Cher Chan, the editor of the Taiwanese magazine Aqua Life, mentions that it was created in the mid-1980s by crossbreeding the Central American species Midas cichlid and the redhead cichlid. It comes in many colors, mostly orange and red. In an ideal environment, it has a lifespan of 10 to 15 years like its Central American cousins, and it might be up to 12 inches long if it properly develops. Number 4. Zubron this is a farm animal, and you may not find it so amazing, but it actually is, because it's the perfect mixture of the typical cattle and the European bison, which is very similar to American bison. This name, Zubron, was officially chosen by the Polish magazine Sekroi during a contest organized in 1969. Somehow this Zubron was created to replace the domestic cattle and make it more beneficial and efficient. Despite not being as large, males weighed about 2,645 pounds, and females about 1,763 pounds. Its main benefit is disease resistance, it lives longer than average cattle, and its adaptability put it forward for being a possible replacement of cows. You can see the Zubron at the Białowieża National Park. If you're in Poland, don't forget to pass by there. Number 5. Koi Dog as the name suggests, this is the offspring of a coyote and a dog. But are they pets? Or are they wild animals? The truth is that it's a mixture of both, but actually the chances of living in nature with its uncles, the coyotes, are low for this hybrid. Besides, interbreeding coyotes with domestic dogs is often harmful for their health, as the next generations of crossbreeds result in weaker hybrids prone to get sick. Their prevalence is problematic as they are not entirely dogs or coyotes. 
In the American Northwest, they are relatively common, so it wouldn't be weird if you ever see one of these puppies out there. Number 6. Zonkey Have you ever imagined the mixture between a zebra and a donkey? To be honest, I haven't, and I never thought it would even be possible, but it is! A zonkey can be found in the wild in South Africa, where zebras and donkeys live together, and just like many hybrids, the zonkey is a sterile creature as it has an odd number of chromosomes. Generally, this is an offspring of a female donkey and a male zebra, however, there are places like a ranch in Barbados and the Reynosa Zoo in Mexico where the opposite is true. Even Charles Darwin mentioned the crossbreeding between these species in his great book On the Origin of Species, and that happened very long ago. So if you go on safari in Africa and you see a striped donkey, you will be one of the lucky tourists to watch a zonkey in the wild, or if you don't want to take such a long and expensive trip, you could go to one of the zoos where this zebroid equine lives and enjoy it! Number 7. Zorse since we're talking about zebras, maybe this zebroid might be obvious to some of you, but nothing common in nature. The Zorse is a sterile hybrid resulting from interbreeding a zebra stallion with a mare. It looks more like a horse, but with many stripes on the legs and back. As we know, zebras are wild and indomitable, and horses are docile, but the Zorse has an aggressive and strong personality. Its existence is very strange because it doesn't happen in nature, but many rare animal collectors usually have this species of Zorse. So if you're interested in seeing a Zorse, you could go to a farm of some pretentious owner. Number 8. Kama This is a very particular experiment because it is totally impossible in nature especially because the species involved are the South American llama and the dromedary, which is six times heavier than the poor llama. Artificial insemination was necessary since its natural reproduction was not viable. Its name was formed by combining the words camel with llama, as the dromedary is usually called Arabian camel. The hybrid resulting? A calf, smaller than a llama's one, with short ears, a long dromedary tail, no hump, and legs looking more like those of a llama. Since they have the same number of chromosomes, this hybrid could be fertile, and the comma is expected to be a great producer of wool because of its size. Number 9. Zo. This is also another alternative for the cattle, as it is the result of interbreeding a yak with a cow. For habitat is tough and difficult as Tibet is, it's necessary an animal that is stronger than a regular cow and can be used for land work. In Nepal, male yaks and domestic cows are often used, and although the opposite is also practicable, it's usually not preferred to. Male zoos are sterile, but the females can breed. Their meat is considered superior, and there are so many different mixtures of these animals that they have a name for each one. For example, if a female zoo is crossed with a yak or bull, the offspring is an ortum. Seems that these cultures have well-established crossbreeding of their cattle, and it is something routine, nothing surprising. If you walk around Nepal, Bhutan, or Mongolia, you will probably see this hybrid in the fields. Ask the villager if it is a zoo or an ortum. I'm sure you love bears, and this one will amaze you by how strange and crazy its name sounds. Now, it's the turn of the... Number 10. Groller Bear This would seem like another experiment, and it is, but there have also been reported cases in the wild, like on Banks Island in Canada in 2006. But what is a groller bear? Basically, it is the offspring of a brown bear and a polar bear. Both bears are genetically very similar, but seeing them next to each other is not a common thing. They may live very close, but they tend to keep clear of one another. While polar bears prefer water and ice, brown bears and all their subspecies, such as grizzlies, prefer land. It is presumed that climate change has had to do with both bears seeing each other's faces more often and maybe even fall in love. Incredible, don't you think? But it's also worrying how nature adjusts to these times. Bonus Caraval and Cervical this is a hybrid you will surely love for its tenderness and very peculiar shape. 
but it is bred for the very exotic and exclusive pet trade. The Caraval is the offspring of a female serval and a male Caracal. With a pattern of spots similar to that of a serval, but darker in color, its counterpart is the cervical. This crossbreeding is the contrary. They're adorable and you may want to have one, but keep in mind that these are not kittens. Good mixtures, rare and amazing, aren't they? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe that there is much more to watch on Trend Max. If you're in the mood for more animals, I recommend these videos. See ya!